Hey guys, what's up? This is Diggy. In today's video, I want to show you how to set up a new wallet with my Ether wallet, which enables you to take your tokens from the exchange and store it in a paper wallet so it's safer than keeping it on the exchange. And I'm also just going to give you a few tips on how to make sure that you do this with maximum security. Okay. So first of all, when you're going to my Ether wallet, always make sure you type in the domain itself. Don't go to Google and type in the first result because there are scammers that will pretend to be my ether wallet who will rank at the top for that term. You click on it and you do anything, they're gonna steal your keys, they're gonna steal your money, okay? So always make sure, and it says you're on the top, it's a big red bar, fishers are stealing coins, okay? So you just gotta make sure here at the top, on the left, by the security thing, it says my ether wallet LLC in the US, okay? And make sure you type it in directly, okay? That's always the number one thing. Okay, so if you wanna create a new wallet, very easy over here. So you can enter a password, okay? And it's super important that you're gonna remember this password to make sure you write it down on a piece of paper. Don't save it online, don't save it anywhere. I made a video about how to store your passwords and your security for your crypto safely, okay? I'll put that link in the description below the video. But basically, okay, you wanna write this down on a piece of paper, and of course, you wanna have it in multiple locations. You don't wanna keep it anywhere near your computer. You wanna have it in some place other than just your house, you know, in case something happens. You lose this password, you lose your backup phrase, you're not gonna be able to access your wallet again, okay? So over here, if you just wanna do it the way through the website, you can go over here and you can enter a password, okay? You click on create new wallet. Then what you need to do is you need to download the key store file again, and that's something that you need to back up. Ideally, you wanna just save it on an offline, some something that's not connected to the internet, maybe on a USB drive or something that's not plugged into your computer, not on the internet. And again, maybe two or three backups in different places, okay? So basically you can download it and you can click on um, I understand and continue, okay? So you click on that. Then what you have is your private key. Okay, so generates a private key. Again, you wanna write this down. You wanna store it somewhere, preferably not online. Okay, don't store it on your computer. Don't store it on your phone. Write it down or even print it out. But when you're printing it out, okay, when you click a print paper wallet, make sure that you're not printing it on a public network because when you're printing this key, okay, it sends a cache that's at somewhere on the, on the, in the network or somewhere inside the printer's cache. Um, and if you're doing this on a public network, it is possible that even after you've printed it, it's still somewhere on that network in the memory and it can be retrieved, okay? So ideally, you can print this on your home network, your home printer or something, but otherwise, just write it down, okay? Pen and paper, just write it down, okay? And that's pretty much it. So then when you go to My Ether Wallet, once you've created your wallet, you can go to View Wallet Info, okay? And this is where you can log in. Now, you've got various ways to access your wallet, and I'm gonna cover these in a second, okay? So you can access it with private key, which is basically the key that we just created. And if you have it written down, it takes a lot of time to type that out every single time. Besides the fact that it takes a lot of time and effort to manually type in your key when you're doing the private key option, okay? There's also the possibility that if you have malware on your computer, there can be something called a key logger install, which is like a little script that basically tracks every single keystroke you make. So even if you're typing it in manually from a piece of paper, if your computer, your machine, is infected with malware, okay? If uh, this key logger is on your computer and you're typing this in, hackers could potentially get access to your private key. So while it's supposed to be safe, it is not the safest way to manually type in your private key, okay? So if you wanted to access it with your private key, I'll just show you, so I'm just gonna paste it here because we just created it. And again, this is just for dummy purposes, so I'm not gonna put anything in this account. You know, if you're watching this, um, I'm not gonna be using this. So basically, over here you have your account address in this place and this place and this is where you will send your your tokens to okay if you want to move funds from your exchanges into your wallet you would send it to this address okay and just if you want to know what kind of tokens you can store in my ether wallet it's basically bitcoin ethereum and all ethereum based tokens so that means an ecr20 token you can see over here token balances okay so it'll show you the value of your bitcoin over here but over here, if you click on load token balances, you click on tokens, these are basically all the Ethereum based tokens that will support it, you know? So for example, you have ADX, um, ADX, okay? You have, um, there's loads of them. You can see all of them over here. We can scroll down, you, all these tokens. You can see here, Omisa Go, you can store there. Every, every type of Ethereum based token over here, you can store in my Ether wallet, okay? And you can see over here, you can transfer them in, you can transfer them out. 
So if you want to send balances from your Ether wallet back to an exchange or whatever, you simply click on send Ether and tokens and follow the instructions over there. Now, just going back, let's go back to uh, view my wallet. So you can see over here, there's other ways to access your wallet. Now, the safest ways will be either a ledger or a Trezor. Okay, and those are the hardware wallets. So basically, you can use this device. You can use a Trezor or a Ledger. You can plug that into your computer. And basically, what it allows you to do is it allows you to access your MyEther wallet through this device without ever typing in any sort of keyword or passphrase or anything like that. So in the event that your computer is compromised with a keystroke logger or whatever, you're not going to be typing in your password manually. So this key logger can't steal your password. And it just it's an extra level of security. Okay, so you can literally plug this device in, access your funds, unplug the device, you know, and it's as secure um, as as you can can do it possibly. So I highly recommend getting yourself a Trezor or getting yourself a Ledger wallet. I'll put the links below here in the description. No affiliate links or anything like that. I'm not going to gain from recommending this. Basically, uh, the, the safest way at the moment to store your Bitcoin and your Ethereum and your Ethereum-based tokens. And again, of course, you want to make sure that you have your key phrases and your passwords written down. And you want to make sure that you have those key phrases and passwords in multiple locations okay you don't want to keep this next to your computer and that's the only copy that you have because if you lose this paper okay you're not going to be able to access your crypto again that's going to be stuck there in my ether wallet and you know it's going to be untouchable by you so ideally i'd recommend having it at at least two or three different locations preferably one outside of your house also so you never know what's going to happen you know maybe in case some unfortunate accident, your house floods or water leakage, or maybe your house burns down or something like that. If that paper with your keys is gone, you know, it's gone. So make sure you're safe with that. Also, don't leave it lying around where someone else can find it because if they find it, they can access your MyEther wallet through the backup phrases and the seed keys. And basically, you know, you also lose it. You have to be very careful with that. For the rest, this is my Ether wallet. And I do recommend storing your cryptocurrency in my Ether wallet compared to storing it on an exchange like Bitrex or Polynix or something. I think it's just that little bit safer. With cryptocurrency, because it is a digital currency, you want to try and take all the precautions you possibly can to make it as safe as possible, okay? To make it as difficult as possible for hackers and thieves to get to your cryptocurrency. And this is a good way to do it. So a Trezor or a Ledger wallet combined with my Ether wallet and keeping your passwords and key phrases safe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more tutorials and more training about cryptocurrency. And as always, I will see you in the next one.